Hello everyone. Today's example is on the shear strength of soils. And this particular problem is related to the determination of undrained and drained friction angle for a consolidated undrained test or CU test. We are given a normally consolidated clay that underwent consolidated undrained test. The following results were obtained. We have the chamber confining pressure or sigma 3, sigma sub 3, which is equal to 100 kilonewton per square meter, a deviator stress at failure of 89.4 kilonewton per square meter, and a pore pressure of delta, delta U of 58.1 kilonewton per square meter. So with this, we are asked to solve for the and drained and drained friction angle. So that one is drained and undrained. Oh, sorry, this is drain and drained rather, and this is drained friction angle. Since we are given a normally consolidated clay, the assumption is cohesion is equal to zero. For sand and normally consolidated clay, we can say that the cohesion or C is equal to zero. Now for the more circle of the given results, let us consider the pink colored more circle and failure envelope. So this is our The chamber confining pressure or the undrained sigma sub 3 is equal to 100. And we are given a deviator stress of 84.9. Therefore, our sigma sub 1 would be equal to sigma sub 3 plus delta sigma deviator at failure. So the major principal stress becomes 100 plus 89.4 and that would be 189.4 kilonewton per square meter. So the major principal stress is equal to 189.4 kilonewton per square meter. So if you remember, we have a relation or an equation that contains our minor and major principal stress that we can use in order for us to solve the undrained friction angle. So our undrained friction angle is this one, and that is simply equal to phi. And that relation is sigma sub 1, or the major principal stress, is equal to the minor principal stress, or the soil pressure, Tangent square of 45 plus phi over 2. And if we have a cohesion, this is still to be in, this is, is still to be included, or the cohesion is still to be included in this relation, like plus 2c tangent uh, square theta or phi rather, but since our c is zero, this is plus zero right away. And so from here, obviously, we have sigma sub one and sigma sub three. The only unknown in this relation is the angle of friction. So if we substitute values, it's 189.4 equals 
100 tangent of 45 plus phi over 2. And from here, we can solve for the undrained friction angle of 18 degrees. Okay, so that is already the answer for the first question. And the next one is the undrained friction angle. So we simply need to subtract the pore pressure from the stresses. And we can say that for the drain, which is for the blue color, oh, sorry. So let me write here, this one is for undrained, and this one is for drained. And this is another failure envelope. And this would be our drained friction angle. So for the drained, we have to calculate for the sigma sub 3 prime, which is equivalent to our sigma sub 3 minus the pore pressure Tf. And that would be 100 minus 58.1 kilonewton and so our sigma sub 3 prime would be 41.9 while our effective major principal stress is sigma sub 1 minus four pressure and that would be 189.4 minus 58.1 that will give us a value of sigma 1 prime of 131.3 kilonewton per square meter. So this is our sigma, sigma 3 prime of 41.9 and sigma 1 prime of 131.3. So using the same relation earlier, we can solve for the drained friction angle. Times n square, 45 plus phi over 2. But this one, it is drained or effective. So we have here 131.3 equals... 41.9 tangent square 45 plus prime over 2. So the resulting drain friction angle is 31 degrees. Okay.